Hard to be grateful when you're at the dentist. But can you imagine living in the 1800s when they didn't have anesthesia, that they couldn't build crowns, you just you know drank a fifth of whiskey and got your tooth pulled? Oh, I'm very grateful to be here today. Grateful. I shed a little tear, and now they're gonna numb it. Thank God it's not the 1800s. Life is what you make it. Life's been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down. Well, that's all done. Face is a little numb. Can't whistle. <sighs> A little numb right here, but so grateful for modern medicine. Let's focus this day on gratitude. What are you grateful for? Let me know. Grateful I get to hang out. Go mountain biking with Xylan today. Grateful for tires. Grateful for mountain bike. Canvas is I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking this for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. Swag almost gave it. All this shit I'm laying in. It's only the foundation. I've been going crazy. Grateful for 29 inch tires. Grateful for a cool logo. Grateful for hiking boots. Grateful for the cool weather. In about a month, it's gonna be super hot. Practice thankfulness each morning by listing 20 specific things you are thankful for. Finding 20 new things each day. Spend your whole day looking for stuff you're thankful for. New things. People who practice thankfulness have been observed in clinical studies to more frequently feel positive emotions and are less likely to feel negative states like anxiousness and worry. Thankful people are less likely to waste time pursuing materialistic goals that don't fit their own long-term vision. You stop wasting time because you're thankful for what you're doing and that's all you want to do. Practicing thankfulness contributes to the positive mental and emotional foundation that makes you more mentally and emotionally resilient and ultimately stronger. And I'm grateful that my face is still numb as I'm making all these videos. I can't, just learning how to whistle. How are ya? Thankful that a lady just drove by and thinks I'm crazy. She's like, why is he talking to the mountain? and telling everybody on the mountain to be grateful. I'm like staring into the mountain right now and the trail's right there. But I'm thankful that my face is still numb while I'm trying to read these things to be grateful for because I went to the dentist and it didn't even hurt. Talk about being grateful. I went out of my way. Grateful. I'm trying to feel the again. I'm lost somewhere in my head. smelled these trees and I'm grateful for the fragrance of spring. Life is what you make. So, real quick here, if you have been inspired by what I'm doing with the 75 day hard challenge, two workouts a day, gratitude lists, reading and getting inspired and being disciplined, making myself do things that are hard, getting out of my comfort zone and, and building new habits which I guarantee will make you happy too if you try something. So I've created a 30 day challenge. If you wanna try something but not quite as intense, jump into the Recovering Addict Discord. In the Discord, I have a channel right here called Your 30 Days Starts May 1st. This is gonna launch on May 1st. Right now we have 14 people in there. What I do is I will create you your own channel to post to every single day. Four things, gratitude list, 15 minutes of reading, wherever that is and however you do it, and 30 minutes of some type of moving exercise, stretching, yoga, running, weightlifting, however you decide. But it's a chance for you to do something for 30 days in a row and practice building new habits, creating a process that's gonna build a new you. So if you want this chance to do it with me, I'm gonna be here watching and motivating and encouraging, and we're gonna encourage each other, just like this says, we recover better together 
everything in life we do when we do as a group, we do better because we encourage and inspire and motivate one another. So if this is something you're interested in, jump in here, get involved. It'll be worth it, I promise. Look at the stuff that I've already been doing for the last, what day are we on, 18? I can't, I'm excited for the whole 75. And you think when the 75 day challenge is done, I'm done? No way, I'm gonna start a different one. I'm gonna start one with you all. I'm gonna start one, who knows what's gonna happen at that 75 days, but I guarantee you another level up challenge in my life is coming. I'll drop little motivational videos like this in the Discord. Three days till we start this challenge. So if you'd like to join the Recovering Addict Discord, which you see here, links are in the description. Jump in today, go into this 30 day challenge, right here, click in this and, and just type, I'm in. Once you say I'm in, I create you a channel over here and then the games begin. May 1st. What are you waiting for? Wifey's home from work. Grateful. Millie's home from school snuggling with her dog. Mwah. Grateful. And what more can I say about this kid? The list goes on and on. Grateful. <laughs> so what do you do when life gets in the way? When the normal routines of life get disturbed by going to the dentist? You keep going, you make it work, you make it happen, you get through it the best you can. You knock it out and you move on. It's called the 75 hard challenge, not the 75, eh, I got excuses challenge. Make it happen, get her done, drag yourself there. Show up, make it happen. Blake made it like curved, just enough just to hit that. Bang. Anyway. But. Ready? Go. Here we go. Let's see how good I do. Yeah. Ready, Link? Yeah. That was bad. It's pretty good. Wanna throw it down? Yeah, throw right. it here. Here. Whoa, oh, heads up. Over there now. Hey. 